Hey guys, it's Cadence here. I'm back again with another model train collection that I bought to sell in my store. This one I got from Goodwill and this is a lot of end scale stuff. Something I'm trying to get more into is the end scale market. I really have never carried a whole lot, but I think we're gonna find some cool end scale stuff in here. So I'm really, really excited for us to look in this box together and see what we got. The reason I bought this lot was because so much of it was in the original box and that always makes the value a little higher on the items, keeps them nice and in good condition. And just look at this, this is just awesome. That That is screaming thumbnail image right there. There's so much here to go with, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll just start with what I see right off the, the bat here is these four Atlas Burlington Northern Hoppers, all with coal load, all in the original box. Look at this, this is great. This is definitely the kind of stuff that I'm trying to get more into is the higher end the higher end trains and the, the higher end end scale stuff especially. So this is great for those BN hoppers. Those are gonna look great together on someone's layout. Okay, next we got another nice car here. This is a, what brand? Deluxe Innovations Pennsylvania Railroad box car. Nice car right there. Love the Pennsylvania stuff. Never get tired of that. And I've never really heard of this brand before. So I've got some research to do on them. Now here's one of the main items I saw in the ad for this. This is a Union Pacific Transfer Caboose. Originally 37, now down to 30 by Blueford Shops. Uh, another, again, not a brand I know a whole lot about, but that is a really nice car. Look at the detail on that. Obviously I gotta fix that wheel there, but that car just screams quality to me at least. I think that's great. Curious what this guy is. There we go. I don't even know what that says. Rob Roberval Sagane. I dude, I don't know. I, I this might have just butchered that name. Never heard of that company or railroad before, but this is a four by hopper, it looks like. Never seen one of those, but that's cool. Alright, we got something uh a little foreign feeling here. I know it says Great Northern on there, but this, the Freightliner containers are telling me that's something foreign. But you know Model Power. They do some weird things sometimes. So that's pretty cool. Model Power container flatbed. There's a nice covered hopper. ACF Center Flow. Always love getting covered hoppers. Huge grain train guy. Very cool. And another covered hopper. This is a Bachman, I think. I know I had a, I've had a few of these before. The Bakelite Plastics ones. These are pretty common. Oh. No? What's in the wrong box? Okay. I thought it was Atlas for a sec, but it's just in the wrong box. Still a cool car, though. I'm liking the, the mystery of some of these. Okay. Here we go. DuPont Tanker. I believe that's another Bachman car. Pretty cool. Carnation Milk, nice uh, billboard reefer there. I have a guy that comes in that loves billboard cars, so I'm sure he'll like that. He's an HO guy though, so maybe we'll have to get him the end scale before he'll buy that. Thermice box car. Ontario Northland box car. I think those are both Bachman. Oh no, this one's Atlas, and that's actually in the right, correct box too. Couple nice inexpensive cabooses here. Union Pacific and Santa Fe. MRC, and I think the top one's a Bachman or an Atlas. Now this was interesting. I saw these in the listing and I don't really know what these are. They didn't show these, these unboxed, these little Atlas boxes. So this could be really cool or Really lame, so we're gonna have to see. Hoping for really cool though. Oh, wow. That's not what I expected at all, but I'm definitely not complaining. Um, that, that top car is a Bachman Swift Reefer, but I am much more interested in this Burlington Northern Grain car there. That looks like a nice car. Nice Atlas or maybe Atherin piece. Love it. Did not know what I was gonna get in those, but I'm definitely not complaining. 
And we've got another one of those mystery boxes here. This again, hopefully something, something cool. Wow, okay, again, completely unexpected. Look at that blue lease topper there, that's really nice. And a Norfolk Southern covered gondola. Wow, definitely take that surprise, it's very cool. All right, next up we got a couple more gondolas, Great Northern and Burlington Route by Mini Trains. I see we've got some more Mini Trains things to look at there. I used to own a few of these when I was little. Nice cars, pretty cheap. These won't be very expensive at all. Here's our first engine of the lot. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Atlas 462, excuse me, Santa Fe. I actually at one point sold just the engine of the, this with no tender. So definitely nice to have the full engine out. Looks like it's missing the front wheel set, but probably in here somewhere. Knowing Goodwill, probably just floating around at the bottom. That is the first engine. Looks like it should run. Here's something cool. Bachman piece here. I'm actually gonna grab this too because they're the same thing, but two Bachman Amtrak Full dome cars, those are pretty cool right there. Never can get enough Amtrak stuff. People love Amtrak down here. Probably because we don't have it. People wish we did, so Amtrak, come to Tennessee. Another really nice car here. Definitely some of the higher end stuff. This is a Wheels, Wheels of, I don't even know, dude. Couldn't tell you anything about that besides that it's obviously nice. It's got the good couplers, good wheels, good detail. Wheels of time. There we go. The real thing in N-Scale. Very cool. Looks like it's a California brand, so no wonder they're making BN stuff. That makes sense. All right, I want to get into these mini trains boxes. And it looks like these are two of their little two-packs they used to sell back in the day. One's a boxcar set with another one of those Thermice cars, and then one is a cattle car set. I used to have a, a gondola set of these. I, I wish they still made packaging like this on, on new train sets, I think that's always cool. Love the old paint style of some of the old Ather and mini trains boxes and all that kind of stuff, roundhouse boxes. Got another engine here, pretty nice, Union Pacific. Um, it's one of those ones with the Nice like Boco type thing from Thomas, right? I mean, the two two axles in the front, three axles in the back. Not entirely sure. FMC, there, that answers that. Union Pacific, very nice. Oh, now we're talking. Merry Christmas, I think this is a Microtrains. Yep, Microtrains Christmas car. Box has seen better days, but it looks like the car all survived in there. That's pretty nice. A little late in the season to be getting that in though, but save it for next year. All right, Carnation Milk. I believe we already got one of those, but I think that's a that's a forty foot car we just opened up. Not a not a thirty foot or fifty foot like the last one. Southern Pacific Gondola, another one with the cover on it. Another mini trains piece. Another engine here. This is another steamer. <laughs> Clearly in the wrong box. I was going to say, I don't think any engine was 99 cents. Even, even back when these were made. Pennsylvania. I don't think Pennsylvania ever had any of those. But still a neat, neat steam engine. Yet another covered gondola. This one is a Ohio... Dude, I can't even read that font, man. Y'all tell me down. Y'all tell me down below what that says. I'm probably just an idiot. Can't can't read that. But oh, word! Oh, look, another one of these uh, Atlas BN cars. I think that brings us up to five. Someone's gonna get a whole a whole train set of these and be very happy. And speaking of BN, oh, the roof's coming off of this. That'll be a quick little fix job later. Deal with that later on. That's a nice Burlington Northern box car right there. This one, I think, is the only thing in here not in the original box or not in a box. I see some of the really nice stuff that caught my attention with this lot at the bottom, but I want to save the best for last. In the meantime, here's three more 
Nice freight cars with the older style engaged coupler on there. Pennsylvania Sioux line and uh, Milwaukee road. All look complete and all look pretty good. And another passenger car. I see another one down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Ooh, two more actually. Santa Fe Pullman's. Very cool. I don't get a whole lot of passenger cars as, as it is right now. So I'm definitely happy to be increasing my passenger selection. And now we're getting into the real good stuff down here. I see a few things that definitely caught my eye in the listing. Here's a old Santa Fe E unit. Looks like it was in a, that's a different box than it originally came in. I don't think this was ever that much. Here's one of the really nice cars I saw. Yeah, train works, that's great. VN covered hopper. Now we got two of those, I think, we had one in that, in that other box. What are these things? Oh, wow. Okay, I think this actually, oh look, yeah, the, the Santa Fe E unit goes in there, and this goes in the box the Santa Fe E unit was in that steam engine. That's a Bachman right there, and that was a Bachman box. And there's another passenger car. That's awesome. And looks like we just got a few more engines down here. First, sort of falling out of the box is an Amtrak. Looks like it's got a little beat up in the postage, but considering they usually destroy these things in mail, that's actually uh, not too bad that only one thing got beat up in postage. I mean, this will end up being really cheap. So if anyone wants a if anyone wants an N-scale Amtrak unit for really cheap, come on down, because that, that's, that's not gonna be going for a whole lot in, in that condition, but not bad either way. And here are the two things that really caught my eye in this lot, these two Atlas engines. Atlas Masterline and Atlas Classic. I got a Burlington Northern GP30 and a Burlington Route Baldwin switcher. VO 1000 ball ones, which are, that's great. These are definitely the two things that really caught my eye on this listing as being really nice quality items. And I'm very glad to have these. I'm very glad to have all this stuff. If you like anything that you saw, hit me up. I own a train store, Cadence's Rail Yard in Fairview, Tennessee. Come on by and see what I got. Thank you so much for watching.